welcome back to Elbow Off The Top. My name is Adam and this is my face. If you haven't seen it before, now you have. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different to what we normally do. I'm actually not going to open anything. I'm going to be giving away some codes, some gold codes, some Fab Five codes, um, and all sorts of codes for Team Coach 2020. Um, I'm also going to be just playing around on the website for a little bit, playing some games, putting in my weekly tips, checking out my top fours and my top 16 teams and all that sort of stuff, just as somewhere in the video over here. And I'm also just going to be flashing up codes at random points. Uh, so it, for some of them, it's first in best dress. For some of them, um, it's the same code for everyone. So the gold codes are all you can use it. Everyone uses it. The things like Fab Five and stuff like that that I flash up, it is one code each. So it's just going to be fastest trigger kind of kind of Wild West styles. So I thought I'd throw the face cam on as well. I've had a lot of people interested in showing a bit, bit of face cam. I've been doing some face cam with my Pokemon videos. It's a lot easier to do a face cam when I'm using my screen as well. So, you know, we'll see how we go. Okay. All right. Let's have a bit of a look. I reckon we start off with uh, doing the tips. Doing the tips for round 13. Um, how did everyone enjoy the festival of footy? That has finally uh, come to an end. It was a big 20 days. I'm actually doing this on the first night. So the Wednesday night, uh, you can see down there, the 19th of the 8th at 12.35 a.m. Bob is asleep, waiting for him to wake up in about an hour or so, so that I can go to bed. And yeah, so this is the first night without footy for 20 days, which is crazy. I actually sat down and as the bub went to bed and my wife is just sort of on, you know, is watching her, watching a TV show or something like that. I actually went, um, wait, what, what, what do I do? I have had footy for so long and I don't have footy, which is weird. Really, 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 really weird. And so now I absolutely loved um, the uh, the festival footy. Uh, having a game, at least one game every single day was amazing, especially in this time of ISO. Um, I don't know if it should be a yearly thing. We've had some conversations about being yearly things. I'm just gonna grab a quick gold card right here just to put a tap in. Um, I've just grabbed the first thing I found, which is Luke Parker. So the gold codes everyone can use, which is GG3GK, which is a hilarious code, GG3GK. All right, enter that one in. I have entered, I can now play my footy tips. So in order to enter the footy tips each week, uh, you have to have a gold card, um, but the gold cards are all easy. So I should well and truly, if you don't have enough gold cards, have enough gold card codes by the end of this to get you through to the end of the season because we're into round 13. We only got 18 rounds, right? All right, let's have a look what we have. Gold Coast versus Carlton. Oh, that's a tricky one. Um, that's that's definitely one of the 50-50 games. Uh, by the time you're watching this, you'll know if I'm correct on my tip or not, of course. Uh, Bulldogs Melbourne, that's also a 50-50 game. I'm going to come back to that one as well. Port Hawks, look, I assume Port at home. Port at home are a different team everywhere else. I've definitely taken Port on that. Bombers Tigers, dream time of the match. Oh, this will be the um, the, the the Indigenous round. Well, I forgot, this will be the Indigenous round with all the sweet, uh, amazing Indigenous jerseys. Can't wait to see all those. Dockers and Swans. I think the I think the Dockers are just better. Swans have still got a lot of injuries, whereas the Dockers have got five back. Um, Brayshaw's playing really well. You know, the, the, yeah, I reckon Dockers are probably looking best on that. Collingwood North, that's also kind of a 50-50 game. Collingwood are in all kinds of shabby states at the moment. I'll go that one. Adelaide Cats, there's no way the Crows are winning that. Will the Crows win a game this season? Comments right now. I want you to make the prediction. Will the cat will the Crows win a game this season? The Cats are looking really good at the moment. I think as far as Melbourne-based teams, no matter how much I love my Tigers, uh, I think the Cats are probably the best looking Melbourne-based team. They're just they've got some key players who are playing the best they've ever played. Players like Hawkins and Mitch Duncan. Um, you know, not Paddy. Paddy's probably not playing his best, but he's it's Paddy Danger and Dangerfield. And you've got players who've really stepped up, players like Guthrie. You know, they they they're looking good. Uh, Lions Saints. Oh, that's what tricky. It's at it's at Brisbane. I gotta go Brisbane on that. Saints are gutsy. I like the Saints, but I got a gut feeling. I think the Saints are going to be kind of like the Brisbane of the last year in the finals. I feel like the Saints are probably going to have a lot of promise, but their just youth and inexperience might just peter out in the finals. Gut feeling. I hope not because I really want the Saints to do well because they are, of course, long and well, well and truly overdue a premiership. Uh, Eagles Giants. The Giants do not look. The stuff that's coming out in the media, the way the coach is talking, the way that, you know, Canelio Cox was talking, it's just there's reminiscence of Adelaide negativity in the team, which is never a good thing. All right, back to the 50-50 games for the round. I call this 50-50 because whenever you're tipping, um, generally these tips right here, everyone's going to go right. 
Whereas these ones, these are the 50-50 games that could go either way and you've got to really think about it. For example, no one, unless you're a Hawks supporter, no one's tipping the Hawks over power. So if that's an upset, it doesn't really matter to your overall tipping. Western Bulldogs and Melbourne. Western Bulldogs and Melbourne. Bulldogs got thumped. No, they did the thumping. Bulldogs have had a season where they either thump people or they get thumped. Like it's 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 one or the other with them. I think they've only had one game within 10 points. The rest of them all been like 20, 30 plus points. And the Melbourne had a really good game as well, I'm pretty sure. Suns lost to us. They just ran out of steam at the end, but they look good. And of course, Carlton had that very controversial um, win over the Dockers last uh, after the siren when News kicked that goal. Beautiful goal. Was it a free kick? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Was it an amazing kick for goal? Absolutely it was. Wow, was it a good kick. Carlton Suns, Carlton Suns, Carlton Suns. Oh. By the time you see this video, this game would have already happened. So you're probably sitting there going, oh, pick, pick, pick the team. Pick, pick, pick. Suns, let's go Suns. Let's go Suns. They showed a lot of promise. That, oh, inaccurate though. They were very inaccurate against us. It is at home. Let's go Suns. Let's go Suns. Um, I have faith in them. I've been able to tip the Blues pretty well this season, actually. Uh, Bulldogs and Demons. Classic rivals. I just can't go past the Bulldogs. They've got such a good list, and they're always underperforming. All right, I'm going to go the Bullies because I feel like they turn up, right? Melbourne is, you know, Petrarca's playing really well. Gorney, I don't know if back in yet. I haven't actually checked, but I'm going to go Bullies. All right, that is going to be my tips for the week. By now, you already know whether I was right on the Suns tip, and we're going to save that right there. Your tips are saved successfully. Good luck. All right, sweet. Um, let's check my top teams. Let's see who I've got sitting in my top teams. Let's start with four because that's always easy. All right, I've got Lockie Whitfield in my back. That is, pfft, why would anyone not have, if he's the option for a backline player, why would anyone not have it? What happened last week? Game points. Josh Battle scores 75. That's pretty good. Um, show last round. Choose a backman. I'm never not me. Like having Lockie, back, Lockie Whitfield put in a back is just, um, Lockie Neal, you can't not have Lockie Neal in the center. Brody Grundy, I used to have McGorn, but he's injured. I'm not sure if he's back or not. Um, the only other option that you would want to maybe put in for that would be, um, like a Riley O'Brien or something like that. Like he's playing, he's getting a lot of points. He's scoring really, really well, but I don't think he can really go past Grundy. He's just too good, right? And until Gorn's back, you'd, I'm probably not moving Grundy. Oh, I've just backed out all the way out. Let's go back. In. And then Christian Petrarca has been my forward pretty much from the start of the year. I've always liked Christian Petrarca. I've always, always, always liked Petrarca. And I think he is just phenomenal. And he's always played under. Like that's the whole thing with him. He's always played under, which I don't think you can, why, why would you move him? Yeah. All right, let's go to my top 10. Lucky, Lucky Whitford, of course. Um, my back line, I got Brennan Maynard. Is there anyone I would consider changing out for Maynard? Game points, I only got 34 last week. Do we switch these ones out? Let's have a look. You got big points last week. Kristen Salem got big points last week. Maynard's having a good season, though. Andrew McGrath I've already got in there. I've actually tipped it. I'm, I'm going to switch it to Witherton. I put Witherton in for my fantasy team, and he's doing really good things for me. So I might actually switch that out to Witherton. Um, and Andrew McGrath is like a free. You got a mid sitting there in the um in, in the back line. We're not moving that. All right, let's have a look at my mids. Oh, <laughs> look at this center. Isn't this just star studded? All right, Lockie Neal. You don't touch Lockie Neal. He can he can rank in so many points. Jack McRae. You don't touch Jack McRae. That guy is just a freak. Brady Grundy's my ruckman, and Mitch Duncan is having just a phenomenal season. Only at seventy three last week, which is pretty good. Is I don't think there's anyone I would rather have in there. Then Mitch Duncan. Look at Bonds. <laughs> he got 123 last week. 123. It's really hard to get over 100 in this in this one. Joe Simkin ended up with 80, 88. Higgins ended up with 75. Um, Taylor Adams was 93. Still side bond 88. Lockie Neal was 84. Duncan was 73. You got to go. With, you got to go with consistency. And I think that Mitch Duncan is in career best form right now. I really think he is in career best form. And, you know, the Cats have got a... They've got the Crows this week, so he's probably going to run absolutely riot over the top of them. Chris McTruck on the forward, and my back man, Walters and Billings are who I go with these ones. I like Billings. I like Billings a lot. Let's have a look. Last round, everyone's... Who scored big time last round? Aaron Norton. He kicked a bunch of goals. Bailey Smith. Oh, Bailey Smith is marked as a forward? Yes, please. I will take that any day of the week. I didn't realize he was marked as a forward. He's, he's playing mid and getting so many touches for the Bullies, even on a bad day. Um, I'm definitely going to start taking Bailey Smith as a forward. Great one. I didn't even notice him there. 
Um, Jamie Elliott's got 60 last week. Cripps got 54. Dan Zorko. Ooh, Zorko. That could be a good switch. See, I don't like... Okay, so I don't generally go for my forwards. You don't go for straight goal kickers. You don't pick people like Tom Hawkins. You don't pick people like uh, Josh Kennedy or anything like that because in order for them to get a lot of points, they need to score like seven goals. Like Tom Hawkins scored 109 last week, but he kicked seven goals, right? Like that's 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 a freak. He's not going to kick seven goals again, although he might because he's playing the Crows. You want a player that is like runs through the center, does a lot of good things um, and that sort of stuff. I might take a Dane Zorko actually. If they're giving me Dane Zorko as a forward, I feel like that might be a good one. I'm going to switch away. I've actually had Walters there all season. So that's pretty good. All right, so that's not bad. Let's check my top 18. All right, um, uh, let's start with backs again. Whitfield, McGrath, Lay, Lai, Dockart, Doherty, and Maynard. Man, Adam Sarr's just been so disappointed for me this year. He, I really had high hopes for him. Who did I switch this out for? Let's put Caleb Daniel. I really like Caleb Daniel. Saad. What's, what's Saad doing these days? He was 54 last week. Dylan Grimes, Titch, Basha. Ooh, Basha's back this week, isn't he? Oh, I forgot Basha's back. Yeah, Basha's back this week. All right, let's put Basha in. Done. Ooh, I might even go back and change my other players as well because Basha could come in and just score a ton of points. Roy Lad. Um, Blue Caves is getting 78. That's pretty good. Brass, Phil Davis. Don't want to move out. Uh, oh, yeah, so I switched out. Oh, yeah, so I went to Witherden, and I, I like Witherden. Doherty's just been underperforming for me. He's he, sh he should be scoring a lot. He's just not performing for me, uh, which means we got Luke Ryan for the Dockers. Um, Eason Wood. Roy Lad. Michael Hurley. I don't trust the Bombers at the moment. They're just so inconsistent. Plus, they're playing the Tigers. So, in my head, my heart tells me that, you know, they're going to play really well. Um, Brad Shepard? Shepard's been, has Shepard been running in the midfield at all? He's scoring big points for someone who's running through backline. I just keep coming back to Josh Battle. I don't know why. I just keep coming back to Josh Battle. He got 75 last week. Geary scored 50. Let's go with battle. All right, fine. Let's go with battle. All right, midfield. McRae, no, I'm not touching that. Grundy, not touching him. Mitch Duncan, not touching him. Tommy Mitchell, just, uh, I might move him. Lockie Neal and Clayton Oliver. What did Mitchell do last week? 89. See, he still scored. Like, he may, like, the Hawks may not be playing well, but the, his points are ridiculous. Paul Patelli, 123. Oh, I wish I had Bomp last week. Oh, I wish I had Bomp last week. Like, I think it's, he's pretty much was the only player I saw who's played, who's scored over the top of Parker score, 85. Over the top of 100. But yeah, that's because he had like, what, 20, I think it was like 27 possessions and two goals, one goal, two goals, something like that. Um, I think we just stick with Tommy. He's a consistent scorer. He always brings in those points. And same with Clayton Oliver as well. Oliver was 69 last week, but he's, you know, he'll he'll pick up. He just picks up points. He just pick, he just picks up points. All right, let's keep that. Let's look at our forwards: Bailey Smith, Michael Walters, Petrarca, Battle, no Billing, sorry, uh, Wingard and Dane Zorko. Um, Wingard could be a switch. See, Robbie Gray might be a good switch because he runs in the mid. He can, he runs in the middle a lot. Castagna. All right, is there anyone who's screaming out to you? Maybe we do go Tom Hawks this week. They are playing. He, he is playing Adelaide, and he's coming off seven goals. Let's keep Wingard. All right, Zorko happy with Billings is... What did he do last week? 67. Billings is not bad. I'm fine with that. Um, for my forward, I'm okay. I'm okay with Billings. Michael Walters. I don't want to touch Michael Walters, even though he scored 29 last week. Was, did he, did he, he didn't get injured, did he? Got injured. Tell me in the comments. I'm going to come back and change it. Uh, all right, apart from that, that looks like my team's all up. Petrarca, Grundy, Neil, and Whitfield. Whitfield, Witherden, and McGrath. Duncan, Neil... Grundy and McRae, Petrarca, Brody Smith, and Zane Zorko, Caleb Daniel, Basha Hooley, Andrew McGrath. Oh, that's right. Basha was back. Do I want to change anyone here? McGrath just scores so many points there. So does Whitfield. You know what? We'll, we'll change this to Bash just because go Tigers, right? Let's change it to Bash. He's likely to pick up some points this week. Hopefully, uh, he's definitely playing. I'm pretty sure he's definitely playing. Uh, Basha McGrath, Whitfield, Witherden, and Battle, Mitchell, Neil, Clayton Oliver, Mitch Duncan, McRae, and Grundy. Can you imagine a football team of this of this actual football name? Um, no one would touch him. Bailey Smith, Michael Walters, Jack Billings, Petrarca, Zorko, and Wingard. All right, cool. Done. All right, I am picked for that one. On tips, let's do best and fairest. Let's do my best and fairest for this week. 
Um, who, which of these best and fairest do I think will score the most points? Last week, I assume it was bombed. Yeah, 123. Let's have a look. 123, 92, 84. Number one, bomb tally. And season overall is... I think these season last rounds and that sort of stuff isn't, isn't quite working. All right, who do I think is going to score the most points this week? Definitely not Prestia or Cunnington, um, or Gorn for that matter. Um, no, no, or, or Crouch. That's He's injured as well. Sebastian Ross injured. Is this why I'm dead in the bottom there? A Taranto, Shui, Fife, Danger, Boak, Oliver. I, I always go Neil just because he has the potential to just be ridiculous. All right, let's have a look. Last round, he got 12. Uh, I think he's going to get 13 fit kicks this time. Handballs, let's go five. Um, last round, how he had 12. <laughs> let's do a little bit bigger than that. Let's do um, 13. Tackles, he had seven last time. Last round, tackles rank was second. Um, let's do seven again. Marks was five. Yeah, he doesn't really take a lot of marks. I might go down a little bit further. Four. Uh, goals, I reckon you'll kick a goal this week, and that gives him a captain points of 91. All right, that's my best and fairest submitted. What else we got? Uh, tips I've done, team coach I've done. No, 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 no. And I'm just going to do a little bit of the footy quiz. How, maybe I should do a versus player. What am I going to do? If, does that mean I have to have somebody, or are they connecting? 14. Surely no one else is sitting down and play the footy quiz at nearly 1 a.m. in the morning on a school night. Uh, 1 a.m. in the morning on a Tuesday night. No, I end up com I end up with a computer. Uh, West Coast Cruise 2, it's something consecutive. How many have they won? Three. Four. Six. I'm off to a good start, guys. Uh, Freo Quiz, which Freo legend has won the most best and fairest awards for them? Favlage? Yeah. Take that. That's a good question. Whoever submitted that one. I like that one. Geelong snaps the same something game winning streak with a 59th. Uh, how many games? I reckon the most. Five. No. Three. Four. Ah. <laughs> I'm doing really bad on these ones. Footy quiz. Which current Melbourne player has most... Play the most. Play, go, 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 go. Surely it's um, yeah. Hard nut Jones, eh? Another free question. Freo notched up its something win of the season, defeating Hawks in round eleven. Uh, I don't know how many have they won. Three? No, they won four. I was close. I'm definitely losing though. Uh, Brisbane. Which Brisbane Lions player received the most Brownlow votes in 2019? Um, let's have a think about that for a second. He nearly won the Brownlow and is probably going to win the Brownlow this year. Congratulations, you win. Play again. Which Carlton player kicked a game-high four goals in disappointing loss against the Eagles in round one? Munn. Fisher. Wasn't Betts, Walsh. I went with Munn. Uh, which current Collingwood player has played the most club games? Pendlebury? Yeah. Guy's been playing for ages. Um, and still is still so good. The Undermanned Magpie survived a scare from the Crows in round 11, eventually running out by... Oh, what did they win by? It was a decent amount. But it's 24. Is it 24? Is it 24? Is it 24? I'm using my baby voice now. Um, Cats. Which current Geelong player, Cats player, has played the most club games? Is that wood? That's easy. Just go with the captain. Um, Gold Coast and Essendon played out the something draw on the 2027 Real 11. Second. I know that because Tigers was the first. Tigers and Pies. Stephen Cunningham. Kern Cairns is a record holder for most goals kicked in Carlton. How many goals did he kick? Oh, I don't know. 638. I don't know. 836. I have no idea. Like, I'm going to know that. I'm going to try to get support. Congratulations, you win. How do I win? I Seriously, I'm so bad at this. How am I winning? One more. One more. Let's do one more. Bulldogs have kept their finals hopes alive with an impressive something point win over Adelaide in round 12. 47. 
57. Always get on the second go, though. Don't know. Give me credit. Always get on the second go. Suns. How many Sun Gold Coast Suns have made the All Australian team in 2019? None? They were terrible last year. That's not happening. Dogs forward Aaron Norton recorded a career best goal with something goals in the win against Crows. Six. Yeah. Oh my gut then. That was pure gut. How many Rising Star nominees did Collingwood have in 2019? Two. Three. 108. Ah, there's always none. <laughs> if none's an option, generally it's none. Cat star Tom Hawkins kicked a career guy. Things emit a career Six. Thought he kicked seven, actually. I'm glad seven wasn't an option because I would have gone seven. Which Brisbane Lions player received the most Brownlow votes in 2019? Lucky me, we already discovered that. We know that. We know that. All right, that one I feel like I legitimately won. Create your own footy quiz question to win a prize card. Here we go. All right, add a question. Um, something Richmond related. Something Richmond related. Something Richmond related. Um, all right, let's go after my boy. Yeah, let's go after my boy Basher. All... Australian backman, backman for the Richmond. I could be running out of words already. For the Richmond Tigers, Bashahuli scored how many brown, brown low votes in 2019? Pretty sure it's 11, but I will have to double check that. <laughs> um, that needs a comma. All Australian backman for the Richmond Tigers, Rasha Hooley, scored how many Brownlow, vo Brownlow votes in 2019? I'm fairly confident it was 11. Let's double check. Brownlow votes, Basher, 2019. I'm pretty sure it was 11. Basha Hooley, 11. I was right. I've got his Brownlow card coming, his prestige card as well. I'm very excited about that. That was the one card I really wanted from that set. Finally got it. And okay, correct answer is 11. Wrong answer is nine. Another wrong answer is 15. Another wrong answer is 234. Submit. Me putting that dumb answer in probably meant that I don't win a prize card now. Just saying. All right, brilliant. We're going to leave it there. Um, I've put my teams in. I've put all that sort of stuff. Let's uh, go to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure that you like and comment down below. If you're new to the channel or you have not subscribed yet, I would love for you to maybe consider hitting that sub button. It really helps out my whole channel and hit the bell icon to know when future videos come out. I've got plenty more footy content to come out as well as Pokemon and wrestling and all sorts of fun stuff here on the channel. If there's anything you are interested in, you would love for me to see me open or do or whatever, pop it into the comments and I can consider it for future videos as well. But apart from all that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, stay amazing, and I will see you in the next one.